warning, warning. Oven mitts required beyond this point. Now entering stupidity zone. Warning, warning. Welcome every- I am live. Good morning, good evening, afternoon. Hello folks, Kent Hoven here. Oh, for f sake, Kent. This video isn't about you. Go away. Sorry about that, everyone. Wow, he is so needy. <sighs> okay, let's start over. Welcome, everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. Oh, there he is. Hi, CC. Hey, I noticed that you unsubbed. Did I say something wrong or were you catching sh for having a globe knower on your channels tab? You know, come to think of it, Fladsoid FE unsubbed as well. Hmm, it must be the latter then. Oh well, your loss. Hot day today, 93 degrees. Oof, yeah, that's hot. And NASA must have the astronauts on the ISS working overtime, cleaning the carbon buildup off the dome so the sun's rays are reflecting back to Earth, instead of getting absorbed by the carbon particles on the dome. It's, uh, 523, uh, 21. Is that the time of day or the date you're recording this? I thought you were telling us what time it was at first. Next time, can you say May 23rd, 2021 or 21? You know, just so we don't get confused. Thanks. Um, Chris? Hello? Why all the long pauses? Most people ask why. Why, why, why do you do this, Chris? Why? Chris, why do you drive while recording your random thoughts? Inquiring minds want to know. You, you know why? Because I, I, I knew there was something wrong. Something is just not right. Thanks for joining us. It's Whack an Atheist Wednesday. And what we got one to do tonight is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, we believe the Bible is true. Dinosaurs always lived with man. They did not live millions of years ago. Kent, no one wants to hear that bullshit. Please take it somewhere else. CC, I am so sorry for Kent interrupting you. Please continue. I didn't need a P1000 camera before I came a flat earther. Just because the P900 and the P1000 are the flat earthers' cameras of choice doesn't mean that that is why some people are flat earthers. Some credit their belief in a non-spherical earth to Eric Dubé or Mark Sargent. I could just, I, I, I could just tell something's wrong, you know, with everything. I wouldn't stake my life on it. And that's what I'm doing. You know? Let's see. Tonight, Whack an Atheist Wednesday with Dr. Kent, the science gent. Most of you f trolls out there don't have the balls to even make a channel. I have. And here I am. Ooh, all you trolls out there were just called out by CeCe from Westchester County, New York. Wait, don't you have to have a channel on YouTube to troll people's comment sections and side chats? CeCe, you might want to rethink what you just said. And there are many other... And many, many other flat earthers that are doing the same thing that I'm doing, if not more. You mean recording content while driving because their better house won't let them do it in their houses and call them idiots? All right, honey, come on. The sun was standing. Would you stop this bullshit? <sighs> there she is. Oh, FYI, many is an undetermined amount, so, if not more, is quite redundant in this case. Just saying. Staking our lives on this. I agree, CC. Distracted driving can lead to bodily injury accidents or worse. And if I didn't believe it, if I knew something was wrong, and I knew it was not accurate, I wouldn't make a channel. Yet you have a channel, so you are willfully ignorant then. I have no other f social network at all whatsoever. I was totally against putting my face out there on anything. And why would I? For what? So I could 
show you what I ate for breakfast? <laughs> I mean, it's bullshit. Fucking social network is nonsense. The only reason why social networking has been invented itself is to reach out to people. To reach out to flat earthers. Hence the name social networking. It's all about reaching out to people and posting stuff and things, but mostly stupid things, which includes flat earth. And that's why I'm here. I made a lot of friends and I love them all. You know, people I'll never, ever, ever be able to meet because of flat earth. Oh, CC, that's great. I'm happy for you. But don't switch sides like Ranty did, or they will turn on you in a heartbeat. Is there something in your eyes, CC? Do you need a moment before you continue? People understand, they have to understand that this is all wrong. Don't you see the f chemtrails? Don't you see the politicians? Don't you see all the f nonsense? All the bullshit? The mathematical computations of the earth aren't even correct. You can't. I mean, really. You can pull in a f boat from miles and miles away when you should not be able to see the bow of that boat, let alone the entire f boat. We can't dig down eight and a half miles. No more than that. 7.5, whatever the f*** it may be, it doesn't make a difference. But yet we are produced with all of these f pictures and all of this nonsense that are feeding your children. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? I don't know what it was. I really don't. It was a combination of things. It wasn't one actual video or something that brought me to flat earth. It was, it just was instinct. It, it just didn't, it doesn't make any sense. You know, all these f people with these f face masks and, and all this nonsense and all this bullshit. They created this to put a cap on flat earth. Okay. Don't you see that? Well, apparently you didn't need a break then. And there you have it, folks. All that led up to one big rant. That's the CC we have all come to know and love. Evolution is so dumb, even small children can learn to spot how dumb it is and whack them back down. We're doing this for your own good, guys. CC never said anything about evolution, Kent. Give it a rest. I'm so sorry, CC. Please continue. I just can't believe I'm here to see it. I can't believe I'm here to witness this. And all of us in the flat earth community. And uh, if you want to call it whatever you want to call it, flat earth 2.0, <laughs> if you want to call it whatever the f it is, we are the flat earth and we are the people that know that the earth is flat. We are the people that understand that the earth is flat. We are the people that are going beyond this nonsense and this other bullshit that most people think is real when we know it's bullshit. You know it's bullshit? You know for absolute fact that the earth is flat? Seems to me it is more of a belief because the positive evidence to back that up is non-existent and the evidence that is presented has been debunked many times over. Not to mention there has been no new evidence to support a flat earth in over five years or more. I have so many more friends to make and so many more friends that I'm going to meet. We all need friends. Friends are nice to have. And I know. You know, but I would not put my life, my reputation on something that I did not believe in. 100%. Wait, didn't you just say that you knew the earth was flat? 
Now it's a belief? Um, okay. And I'm not going to sit here and try to talk somebody into Flat Earth. There's no talking about Flat Earth. I mean, you either realize it or you don't. That's the bottom f line. Don't you see that? There's so much more. You know, I mean, one, once Flat Earth is there, I mean, you've got, you've got mud flood, you've got, you've got a whole other series of that are going to open up that you'll understand that our whole history has been lied, we've been lied to, all of us have been lied to about complete nonsense, our whole history, all of our education. I have heard that Flat Earth is the gateway conspiracy to other conspiracies and that makes sense because you have to be in a conspiracy mindset to believe in a Flat Earth despite all the evidence to the contrary. All of it is nonsense, except mathematics. That seems to be kind of true in a way, if you want to figure out a problem. But there's certainly not when it comes down to the origin of where we come from, because I can still zoom in on a boat that I should not be able to see. So where the mathematical computation doesn't seem to work. Math is kind of okay in a way if you want to figure out a problem. However, not for figuring out the radius of the Earth. The best friend you got, you don't oh, even know it. Come on down, visit Dinosaur Beach Island. Any more questions away. are coming? All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh my God, I am so sorry, Cece. Kent just can't help himself. Please finish what you were going to say. I'm going to continue doing this. I don't care. It doesn't make a difference. I'm in it for the long run, obviously. You know? I'm not going anywhere. That was fun. Cece never disappoints. He really needs to start letting his feelings out more, though, or he will have a heart attack one day. I would like to give a big shout out to Irish Demon for his stream covering Kent Hovind's stream of Creaky Blinder last week. I got the inspiration for this video from that stream. The link to Irish Demon's channel and Creaky Blinders channel are in the description below. Go and give them a sub if you haven't already. And speaking of subs, I have decided that I need to do these kinds of videos more regularly. My sub count has been fluctuating in the mid 900s since the beginning of the year. I feel that it's partly due to me not doing these kinds of videos more often and the BS and butthurt that exists on YouTube. I haven't really stressed over the sub count on my channel, but if I can get 1,000 subs, I can have access to the community tab, which means I can post information I need to get out to you all more easily as it will show up in the subscription page. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.